Hi guys, welcome back to Blueprint Gaming. I am Jay, and we're continuing here with Transport Fever 2, our Mega City Challenge. And uh, I did let, you know, a little bit of time run off just so this guy could load up. I did last episode, we did hit, we did hook up, hit, I don't know why I said hit, um, a construction line to Knoxville to make full use of a line that we've already established earlier that was going to Torrance, just loving construction material to Torrance. So, as of me jumping back into this this has we have not had a drop-off shipment yet of knoxville i'm not quite sure what this is going to look like because knoxville is not demanding 120. they're demanding only 90. But this train uh, apparently doesn't deliver once per cycle so it's the main reason why the rate if you look at the rate is below um doo -doo 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 -doo, there, are, there you are uh it's only 80 and yet we have 120. so you can see this train takes a little bit longer than a than whatever a cycle is in this game uh, to complete, you know, from one end to the other. So uh, I did want to slow this down and bring this back. We did build this. We did build this stuff last time, and I kind of wanted. I hit a pretty steep slope. That's all downhill. Um, so I did want to like bring it back so you guys can watch this train uh, take the new. I don't know tracks, whatever you want to call it. It's pretty steep hill up climb. Let me look at it. It's going full speed right now. It'll be interesting to see what happens once it hits. Uh, it's got to slow down for the turn. I knew that much. Uh, going full. 43. Uh, let's see if it picks up speed. 44. Not really picking up speed. No, it's going to keep being in the way. Um, it is losing a little bit of speed. It's a very steep hill up climb, but uh, unfor uh, once we get to... Uh, future locomotives it's gonna be a really a non-issue all right there you go all right let's get you let's get you home there we go that's very very i'm very happy i had never built anything like that before uh <laughs> to be honest uh yeah first time for me guys i, I built thing i built lines like that in, in games like machinki and stuff like that but i never built them in, in in transport fever 2 usually i would do the most direct line uh so actually doing it for once in this game is, i'm pretty amazed with myself that rock needs to be deleted for sure uh, once again, we could definitely do some terrain modification here and make this look cleaner. Things that I could do that I don't do, and I have no one to blame but myself. All right. You should be delivering very soon. Okay, I'm curious to see what's going to happen once you deliver. And then we're going to get into the, the, the next objective of this episode, which I think is going to be a fun one. At least it sounds fun to me. You guys can make up your own mind once we get there. All right, you're going in... All right, what happens when you deliver? I'm curious. All right, you dropped off all 120. All right, I'm going to have to leave you now. Let's get out of here. Knoxville. Interesting. And only could, saying it's consuming 39. Huh. Where did the rest of the construction... I mean, it doesn't matter because I'm getting paid for the load... But I'm just curious of why that says 39. I thought for sure it'd go through the roof, but it did not. And I'm actually curious of why it doesn't say like 80. That's made a million. That ticked up a little bit. Yeah, that one I'll have to keep an eye on. I can't figure out how that works. Uh, but definitely causing a population boom in Knoxville, which is going to help a lot of stuff, including the passenger line, which... We are done with Knoxville. We'll come back to it maybe next episode or a future episode. But right now, we are done with it. Uh, you saw the line in, in, you know, working its full potential. And I'm very, like, I just, I'm proud of myself, guys. I'm very proud of myself. Hopefully, you're proud of me, too. Oh, my goodness. I feel like I'm asking for compliments. All right. Uh, yeah, this is getting busy. Um, now, there's other things we can do if lines get too busy. Uh, you just got paused right there. That's not good. All right, we need to add more signals. I uh, can't afford him by getting paused. All right, let's do one there and there. Let's do one in the middle here and here. Yeah, don't really, I don't like, don't like seeing things get paused. One there and there. Cool deal. Oh, oh, sh <laughs> oh, guys, I just got really excited. I saw new cargo type goods. I thought that was Torrance. It's not Torrance. It's Knoxville. <laughs> I got so excited, so excited. Oh man. 
Oh, talk about the car. Talk about the rug being pulled out from underneath you. Uh, not fuel. So you now demand fuel and goods. Interesting. I, I'm th okay. So three, so 300 seems like the threshold for four goods and 600 is not the threshold for six goods. So 300 for four, and we still don't know what you need for six. But this population just really just boomed. Um, how is my passenger lines doing? Um, I may have to update the passenger lines in inner city. I'll let it run for now. Like I said, I, w I did say I was coming back on a future episode, but that just caught me off guard and I had to go check it out. Um, and unfortunately, uh, not going to do much for the population growth of the Torrance. Uh, how about Knoxville? Knoxville, nothing. Okay. We'll keep an eye on it. Uh, talk about keeping an eye on it. What is going on here? Uh, I'm just going to assume a l everyone got dropped off at once and that's why that boomed, but we can keep that under control. Keep an eye on that. Um, but I'm assuming just a bunch of people got dropped off at once. So today's objective guys is obviously like, a, like how we just did for the, the crush material, right? We're not making full use of the tools line. So we're going to try to make full use of it. And we're going to deliver it somewhere. Now I could take the tools to, um, right. There's the line. We literally could take this line and go up and do the same thing and deliver to Knoxville. Pretty simple, not much involved. The line's already set up, but once again, we're going to be adding even more locomotives to a line that's already crowded. Now. There are things you can do. Uh, this new update can give us new tools. Um, actually, that, the most of the new tools are for roads, uh, but we can do waypoints like that. So if I wanted to, I could have two tracks going, coming back down, and two tracks going up, and then I could use waypoints to designate, you know, which ones go where, um, you know, and then that way I can help, you know, the eliminate the crowding um, of one line. But I don't think I want to do that. I kind of want to help another town grow. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to deliver tools. If we come down here, boom, to Pasadena. Pasadena is not demanding a whole lot, uh, but that demand will quickly go up as we start delivering tools to them. Thanks for telling me my train's in very poor condition. So it's pretty simple. Tools, down, connect, go. But what I want to do is have it connect right after the station. So we want to modify this station and... Yeah, so there's a couple of different ways we can do this. Let's go ahead and configure this line. First thing I want to see is if I put no. I don't want it to do that. All right, so if I do that, can I have a track come out of there? No, I cannot. Uh, configure. All right. Um, hmm. So plan A did not work out. <laughs> I think what here, I tell you what I can do. Um, configure. Uh, cargo buildings. That was a little bit, a little bit of delay there. So where is this? Um, I wish I could see how this is connected. Cause what I'm afraid of is I want to delete this. If I delete it. All right, it did lose its connection. All right, pause. Boom, that little bit of road there, um, which is very ugly looking. You can see it connects here and here and over there, exactly what we need, put it in, and boom, we're back to connect it again. All right, exactly what I wanted. Not the prettiest thing, definitely not the smoothest thing, but I uh, got the job done. Now we can configure this for tracks. I'm going to put 
cracks a coin. And there we go. All right, next thing's next. So we are on pause. All right, and then I want to, you're on your way down. Actually, I think you're, hmm, no, I gotta delete this depot. Actually, we're gonna do real quick. I'm gonna let this play. I'll connect up this side. We're gonna wait till this train gets way up here again because we wanna delete this track back a little bit. But we can hook this stuff up real quick. Let's go ahead and add this track in. Why are you not connecting? It's acting really weird. Why? Well, you know what to say. There's more than one way. All right, we are in. And boom. All right, now we gotta add more signals in. First off, you're going this way, stop. This way, stop. This way, stop. All right, good. All right, so that looks good. Or I can live with that, I should say. Now we're gonna have more than one lot, one more than one train on this line, so we definitely gonna need, we need to add more signals than what we currently have. And you never know the rate that they're gonna mix, so you want to make sure you have them pretty frequently. Um, because if not, uh, it's a mess. It is a mess. Actually, I could probably put on pause again. Oh, no, it's not far enough away yet. Never mind. Just kidding. Uh, let's go ahead and delete that set of signals. All right, where are you guys at? Right there. What? Yeah, right there. And we're, I'll stop right there until we I can fix the station. All right, now you should be far enough away. Speed you up just a little bit. And pause. All right. So we want to make this look smooth. So what we want to do is we want to back this up. Um, I think right there is fine. So what we're going to do... Uh, may not be the very popular choice. We're gonna connect it right there. Oh, look at that bend. It's fine. It's fine. My trains really don't go that fast yet. All right. So. Oh, this is trouble. All right. So we want this train to go out like that. And like that, that is, I mean, that's going to work, but man, does that make me cringe? All right. I shouldn't need a double slip here, um, but I will add one just, just, just to be safe. It doesn't hurt to add it unless you pay maintenance on it. Maybe you pay maintenance on it. I don't know. There's a lot of things. I wish there was more transparent in this game. Not everything's very transparent. That is unfortunate. All right, let's go ahead and add signals right there and right there. And let's add one right here, too. All right, so that's good. The station still, we can actually let it play now. Station still works, no alerts. And we have our through route, which is going to take from the tools down. All right, and then we need to fix Pasadena. Now, I did check this already. Um, this station does hit all, like all the tools are like, kind of like right here. So it does hit them all. And most likely the tools will develop closer to the station. So we don't really need to change much of anything. Uh, this is fine as is. We're going to immediately just build another station. Uh, another station. We're going to build our station. We're going to immediately build some train tracks. Oh, you're only 120. All right. We have to remember this, this is only a 120 platform. 
we're gonna put this right here and so this means on this setup that a cargo line has to be on the left hand side passenger has to be on the right hand side and these two icons should really be flipped but unfortunately that's the game's ui and how they do it but they should really be flipped because right now like naturally i'd want to click on this side for the cargo line but that's actually the passenger line you guys get what i'm saying so uh, i don't see a passenger train so let's go ahead and pause real quick and what we're going to do here is actually it looks pretty straight we're just going to connect these guys straight up why do you have a collision oh because i missed a little piece right there Uh, like you guys see me do in the past, we're going to put our little X pattern in. And built. Double switch. And good to go. No alerts. We can press play again. Um, so what I want to do is signals. There. Um clearance there and there and then we'll put one right here in the middle all right so a lot of signals for a line that doesn't really make that much money because pasadena is so small uh, but this is going to help with the growth of pass our growth of pasadena and we should start feeling better about pasadena overall hopefully all right so one we're going to create the new line and then we're going to take the trains we're going to get trains from there so let's go ahead and add the new line we're going from here which now i am Shoot, that doesn't connect. All right, we gotta make that connect, but first let's set this up. Uh, moments again, make sure we hit the... There we go. If we're on this camera angle, it matches up. Cargo, uh, you don't need to flip the camera. Uh, I know, what is that alert for? Well, why is that, why is there alert? What did I mess up? Something's not right. Oh, you know what? I know it's wrong. One second. There's no switch over right here. Because we didn't need it before. Now we need it. All right. So first off, signal. Delete it. Boom. Train 25. Who's train 25? Are you train 25? You are train 25. Um, and that's what you get for editing while. Well. <laughs> uh, do you know what I did? Did not for that train at all. I definitely got messed up. All right. Everything's fixed. Everything's all right with the world again. All right. And that fixed our line. We no longer have the alert. Good. Good, 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 good. All right. So right now this cannot get over the tool line, which is something I did not can I, well, I didn't even think about it or see it before. So the question is, how do I get, I think what I'm going to do is put a depot right here. Cause I don't need a station here. Um, so I think what I'm going to do first off, let's use our terrain modification here and smooth this out a little bit. Cause that's really bad. It looks really bad up close. All right. Let's get a depot. There's a couple different ways you guys can build depots. You guys used to be just, just take out like a, a line outside from the station. Another way you can build a depot is actually just put one down and then connect it up. Um, so what I'm going to do is actually put one like right here. And do the tracks. And just have the tracks come in. Like, which way allows me. If it allows me. All right. So we'll do that right there. Ugh. All right. So. Uh, 
I may have to do it my way. <laughs> I thought I'd do something a little different today. Did not work. Actually, you know what the problem might be? Is I can't have it connect to... Because technically, this is not a regular train track. It's actually part of this. So actually, let me just... All right, we're doing some experimenting here. Uh, this was supposed to be a simple thing to do. Turned out not to be so simple. Oh, nope, nope, no, 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 no. All right, so if we just go regular train track. Now, can you connect up? There you go. There you go. <laughs> All right, and I just want a signal right here. Good deal. All right. So now, right, once again, we don't need a big train on here. I, well, okay, General's gone, so we have to go with the Baldwin. All right, we don't need anything big. Um, so I am going to go boxcar for tools. Uh, I'm going to go 48 capacity. We can add more if we need to, um, but that's double what the town currently demands. Uh, so let's just be a little conservative. And I need to name this line, which I did not do. All right. So let's go lines. All right, you are a line for Pasadena. I use P for passengers. Uh, Pasadena. And we are going with tools. Tools of Pasadena. Now this is not gonna make this industry jump by any means because it's so little that it demands. Uh, tools are being put over there already, so that's awesome. Yeah, this this demand is so little. I believe between the two of them, it's still not 100. Uh, but this one should grow, and then we should easily be able to put this up to... Uh, I'm trying to think here. Up to 440. I think we just need it to grow just a little bit more to get it updated. We just need it to grow to 80 for the, the, uh, the tool plant to expand. Oh, it's getting very close. Okay, so immediately once we start delivering tools to Pasadena, the population will start to grow there automatically, which is going to be great. Actually, hold on. what did that Pasadena say? Or what did Twin say? 644. Good, good, good. Sheen's, you're letting me down just a little bit there, boys. Um, But not doing bad, not doing bad at all. All right, let's take a look at our tools. What is our time? We're about ready to wrap this episode up. Uh, tools had to stall for a little bit. But not bad, not bad at all. We're gonna get tools on our various delivery. And by the way, I'm just gonna stick with you guys. Uh, just to see it drop off two tools. <laughs> we'll have to come back next episode, do a little bit more than, uh, see it doing more than just tool, two tools. But this is huge Pasadena. It is our smallest, we'll call it a town. Cause we can't really call it a city. It's only got 76 citizens. Um, so yeah, it needs a lot more than that to be able to call it a city. Um, but yeah, just some cool stuff. Now we can recolor these locomotives and wagons and stuff like that. Uh, but sometimes when you recolor them, it's hard to keep them realistic. Like you can try to mess with the tones a little bit, but um, the coloring tools got a little better without mods in this game. They're still not great. Um, you still can't seem to select, like there's more color options, but you still can't seem to select your own custom color yet uh, without a mod. Um, I need to make sure when I, if I expand on this, that I make sure that I'm under the 120 because this is one smaller. All right. So you did deliver. What do you look like tools? Look at you go Two ten percent growth, which still equals 77. <laughs> oh, how many extras is this? Six residents. All right. Well, we need to do a lot more than that. You got to do better than that. But guys, that's going to do it for this episode. If you're enjoying transport for your two, you know what to do. Thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. And with all that said, I'll catch you guys on the next one.